everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be a doll hunt and haul. So here's the hunt. All right. <laughs> okay, and then over here, let's see. I'm waiting for this display. Oh, hello. They moved Victoria. And then who's that? Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Interesting. So I guess they're waiting for Shadow High Series 2 to sell out, and then they'll put them here, is my guess. And then, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> Everyone's here! <gasps> Yay! So I actually have everyone but... Who'd you get? You're gonna just... Only Bowser? No. I'm thinking about it. Who do you like? Now you can see all six. All six? Who? It's these guys? Yeah. <gasps> this one's a... This one's different. Her freckles are much darker. Uh oh, are there freckle variants? I'm in trouble. Okay, we're just, uh, oops. oops. I didn't. I need my memory erased now because that's gonna cause a problem for me. <laughs> that's Priscilla, that's and then Michelle. Who? So I've reviewed I these like the three already. Yeah, I really like her, but I hate that they gave her the cheap freckles when. Yeah, they don't. Victoria's in the same wave because they didn't have to do full body, obviously, but they could have done better freckles. Very pretty, though. Yeah, I really like this doll. She's really like her outfit. And then Kim is gorgeous, but this one has really bad bags. Like this one? I love that one. I think she's one of the least favorites from this line, though, unfortunately. Well, it seems like people... Nobody's polar. talking about these three. I, feel I super like her. I think she's probably the best polarized one. polarized by her. She has things I like a lot, but things that I kind of don't. I love her outfit. It's like Space Channel 5. It is kind of Space Channel 5. Yeah, and I really like Victoria, too, though, so I'm not sure who my favorite is. Um, but I don't have Priscilla, and I don't have Michelle yet. So yay, I'm gonna buy them. And you're gonna get Bowser. Okay, and then we have fresh dolls are not normally in stock. Look at these. These are beautiful. I've never seen these ones before. So these are like a dress wear line. These are only $13. Okay, fresh dolls, I might start buying you guys up. I've been really tempted to get some. Naturalistas are $13. Okay, that, wow. And look, they have the styling head too. So a lot of new stuff is coming out. Um, and over here, I'm looking for like lots of little different things that have been coming out. Just, I really want to get the, oh, is that Mini Sweet Series 2? Oh, it is. What is Mini Bites too? Is it the cereal one? Oh my God. I wasn't expecting these. I really want to get these, wait. Dang, I really want these, um, but they don't have any more. That's been like that for like days, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna be getting some of these. I was not expecting to see, I didn't even know these were coming out anytime soon. And then there's also mini OMGs, but I think they are only being found at Walmart for now anyway. You don't want anything else? And then I wanna go look at Disney because they just put so much new stuff out. So um, I'm not hopeful, I mean, I'm hopeful, but I'm not gonna be surprised if I love you is not there. Oh, okay. So I'm just looking to see if they, oh, rest in peace. Um, to see if like, I love you forever. Cause I know it's normally in its own section, but maybe it would get put here. I don't know. Look, I haven't seen that set before. Lots of Mattel Disney stuff is getting like filtered in. So you can see that we're at this weird time where you're seeing Hasbro, Jax and Mattel Disney stuff right now. And then there's lots of cool Barbie stuff actually coming out, but it seems like they haven't reset the section yet, but the mini minis are there. You think we're gonna need a cart? Yeah, but not that much. And then over here, we're looking for the... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yes! <laughs> Series 2, the VFFs. Oh my god, sweet. I, I really wanted this character. Who do you like? Well, I like this not... one. I, like, I love the cat girl. Can't really judge on 3D models. Well then, yeah. Is it only Hannah and Jazzy? Yeah. But sweet. See the toys. Oh, I'm excited. Well, we'll be unboxing these for sure. That's from series one. I really like Phoebe. She's a Triceratops theme. I wish there were more dinosaur ones. Okay, well, yeah, maybe we do need it. I want like a hand basket. All right, so I'm looking at, so I'm, this is gonna be a problem. So look at the freckle patterns. Like this one has much darker, bigger freckles than this one and they're, 50422 MBE. So they're both from the same batch. Sometimes the differences are batch related, but sometimes it's just the way they're manufactured. 
that will be different. So I'm like really tempted to get her because it could just be that this was an error and they put too much paint in the thing or something. I have no idea. This one has different lips too, look. Hers are like more pointed mm -hmm. than the others, which are less extreme. Very interesting. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get her honestly. Um, Cause this is really cool actually. Um, I'm very interested in that. And then for Michelle, oh my God, look how cute her hair looks. Something about the way it is in package, but I'm gonna pick the one with the best face. It's this one. This one's lips are a bit off, but this one like is really, really nice. She has like, I don't know if it's a dark lip liner. We'll see in the review, it looks really interesting. And then um, Priscilla as well. So Priscilla's the wild card here, cause I don't know how I feel about her. I am excited that she is like pink and I think her eyes, like she's finally, a rainbow high character with the cool brown eyes. There's a lot of Priscilla's. They must have gotten multiple cases of her. God, her lip color is that like perfect bubblegum pink. I think she's really good. I'm, I'm always focused on the eyebrows because that's something I always hone in so much on the lips that I ignore the eyebrows and then the eyebrows being misplaced drives me bonkers. So this one's eyebrows aren't perfect, but I like this one. So she's a possibility. Um, Dark eyebrow and light eyebrow variant right there. This one's darker and this one's more faded. 50422 faded eyebrow. 51222 um, dark eyebrow. That's cool actually. I might buy both, honestly. Because um, I like covering variants and I haven't seen anybody point that out. Very cool. I'm excited about that. Okay. There's two different batches sitting here, so that's really cool. By the way, if you don't watch the video that I make about this variant, um, sometimes the variants um, aren't perfect. So like you'll find a dark eyebrow variant in a light eyebrow variant badge. It's not an exact science. Um, oh, and then Brett, these are the cereal mini verse, like mini LOLs. Mm -hmm. You remember the candy ones that were so cool? Kinda. Can you pick two out of here? Because Brett's really good at picking. So I really want Count Chocula, for sure. Mm. <laughs> so use your magic. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I know. Lucky it's Charms. Some, aren't these cool? I haven't seen anybody post about these yet. I'm like surprised. Okay, hey, you want that one? Yeah. This is the magic? They always okay. put them in in a way where I can't be picky. Yeah. You want to get under? Oh, that one? Yeah. All right, and then I'll pick... I wish we could like... I need to bring a Sharpie so we can mark like who picked which one so I can see if your magic still works. Okay. I'll take credit if any of them are good. And then, okay, Mini Sweet Series 2. Oh, God, I don't remember which one is the one, but is this Series 2 indeed? I think it is. Yeah, they have different. I can't recall. This one, I want this Arrowheads one so bad. That's like fanny pack, like rainbow theme. I love that one. And then is there another one? I can't recall because I saw the picture so long ago. I, I swear there was like a lollipop one that I was in love with. We'll see. Um, can you pick two of these? Two? Yeah. Okay. I'll do a video for cereal and this probably. And or is that layer magic to you or is it one of the others? I don't know. Okay, and then I'm, I'm curious about this one up top because this one was left behind, so I think she's special. Okay. Cool. And then uh, we're going to go pick out some more Mario. Oh God, and the BFS. Oh look, hello. There's so much new stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm just sad that they're not doing brushables like this size, even though these aren't brushables. I like this size of pony better than this size. Um, this is cool. They like sculpted around the ear. That's her hair. A braid. I guess that's lazy when they could have styled it, but it looks kind of nice. I don't know. $17. <laughs> Show up at Dirt Cheap later. That's um, guaranteed. Huh? That's a guarantee. Yeah, My Little Pony stuff is like, it always shows up there. And then I'm just like, I swear I keep missing stuff because there's so much new stuff, but it looks similar to the old stuff. So like, I almost thought this was the mini verse OMGs, which I'm looking for. At least, that's a tween. There's mini tweens. <sighs> the LOL surprise tweens. I want this one. But I'll, I, I already got a lot of stuff. So we're good. All right, so look, we were looking for Mario movie stuff. We came to Target. They did inset eyes. Yeah, I know. That's well, what it's I'm they're faux inset. They're um, yeah, panels. That's really it's unusual. That I didn't expect. 
It makes them follow me eyes, which is cool, yeah. but it doesn't work with the face sculpts. The Mario Land cool though. Good. The toad looks a little strange. And look, they have the minifigures, which I thought these were blind package, so this is better. It looks like he's seen some things. Do they have Magic Koopa? I want to see what name they gave him in the movie. They do. He's back here. He's short packed, Kamek. These two are short packed. If you want them, you better get them now. Wait, why is he? What? Did you say he was called Magic Koopa on the other set? No, oh. I just knew his name was Magic Koopa. Oh, okay, okay. And look, they have Bowser. It looks really good. And then with is Rainbow that High. With Does it really? Can you shoot steam out of <gasps> Okay, get it. I'll buy And now it's time for the haul. So I went to Target and I went to Dirt Cheap. I did not actually film at Dirt Cheap, as you guys saw. So sorry about that, but I'll show you what I got anyway. And then at Target, I found a lot of things. I was not expecting to find anything. I was going to, one, we needed a couple of like life supplies, but two, I specifically wanted to go to Target because they had the, I mean, they could have had the new Super Mario Brothers movie stuff. And I really wanted to get that stuff for Brett. They actually did have it all. So I'll show you at the end of the video, I'll show you a little clip of all of them. I also posted some shorts on TikTok and YouTube if you guys want to see like close up or something. Uh, they're really, really cool. Actually, I'm really excited that we managed to find them. And the rest for me so this will be doll hunts for um doll reviews for a while so first priscilla i found priscilla from rainbow high series 5 i'm really excited because i didn't order on amazon she's kind of the one that i've been kind of neutral on i really like pink dolls i really like her eye color it's like the cool brown which i've been asking for so i'm really excited that she has it and looking at her now, her outfit is really cool, but I don't know, I just hadn't really looked twice at her before this. So I'm really curious how I'm going to feel about her, especially compared to the other pink dolls, because, I mean, even Stella Monroe from Series 2 is still one of my top favorite Rainbow High dolls. Not top 10, she's been demoted quite a bit since last year, but I still really, really like her a lot. So I'm really, I mean, I love the hair color on this one. So we'll see. We'll see how she ranks among the other pink girls. I'm excited. And then, uh, funny enough, if I can find it, I actually bought two Priscilla's because as you guys saw there was a variant going on and I was really excited to find the variants right next to each other on the shelf where I could compare them so I'll be getting you guys a variant comparison video coming up which will be really exciting because I haven't done one of those since was it Leela? No I did one for Heather. I haven't really done variant videos a lot lately just because I haven't been finding them as much so I'm really excited that I found one that has what I think is Kind of a big difference, but we'll see how you guys feel when we do the review. But anyway, super excited. Is she? What is that? There's like a big puff ball. I'm intrigued. I thought it was like a loofah. Well, in the artwork, I was like, is that a pom-pom? And now it looks like a loofah. I don't even know. Curious about that. We'll see. Don't spoil anything for me, guys. I want to I wanna be surprised when I open her. Although I might have already opened her by the time you see this video, who knows. And then I also got Michelle St. Charles, who is also from Rainbow High Series 5. I didn't have her yet, and I think she, I don't know. She's the one, her and Kim, I thought looked the best from the um, promotional shots. For some reason, I was ignoring Victoria, who is my current favorite out of the three that I have. And then Olivia was my favorite from the promo pics. Other, well, Olivia was my favorite that I was calling my favorite because she's green. But... Michelle and Kim were the two that I was like, wow, those two really stand out. So I'm really curious how I'm going to feel about her once I have her all unboxed and have them all next to each other. I really, really like her. I'm really excited to have another character with short hair. And I love her color scheme and her outfit is really, really cool and very distinct for Rainbow High. Really excited about this one. I think Series 5 all are really solid dolls, but they don't really... I don't know if they all go together necessarily. And I don't think it's a very consistent line overall, but I think every single doll, like, would have a lot of merit in another series, if that makes sense. But I think Michelle, and that's why I think Michelle is the best from this series um, overall. But we'll see how I feel once I actually get them all out of the box. I am very, very excited. She's really cute. So, that's Michelle. And then, there's more. I wanted to get her because I'm not sure if she is a variant or some kind of factory error, but I figured if I didn't get her, because this happened with a Heather, I saw the most beautiful Heather in the whole world, and she was very different from any other Heathers that I'd ever seen, and I was, like, on the fence. I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to get her, and then she sold, and now I'm really bummed out about it. So with this one, she was so distinct from the others. I showed you guys up close in the video that she, like, her freckles are different, so I decided to grab her because I thought it was really cool. So I'm very curious if this one's the same batch as my original one that I have. Or if this is some kind of factory error, like maybe they put too much paint in the spray or something like that. But either way, I thought this one was really cool. So I decided to grab her and yeah, so 
another Victoria. So we got four Rainbow High Series 5 dolls today. Anyways, I also found, as you guys saw, the BFF Crybabies dolls from Series 2, which I'm also very excited about. So I already have Ella, and I did a review of her, I think, at some point in January. And she's really, really cool. But today I got Jazzy and Hannah. I don't know what animal either of them are supposed to be, unless they're both supposed to be... I mean, what are you? Is this one meant to be like a horse? And then Jazzy's meant to be a unicorn? I don't know. But they are really, really cute. I'm really curious how the dolls are actually going to be. I'm excited because she has green eyes and Series 1 really didn't. And then this is Jazzy. She has cute little brown eyes. I'm just, Series 1 had like all blue eyes in the dolls and then Dottie had brown eyes and that was it. Um, and it, these look like they'll be a different color than the other like eyes on Dottie. I'm not sure. We'll see. And I think her design is really cool. I really like her hair color. And yeah, I really like these dolls. They have a lot of problems, but they are really, really sweet dolls. I really wish they kept the body blushing though. It's such, such a bummer. But Victoria has body blushing. She's made up for it. Mwah. Love you. Okay. And then what's in here? That's headbands. I messed up my bangs <laughs> really bad before another video so we're in headband era now okay and then i did not expect to find these in fact i walked right past them the first three times i walked by uh so you didn't even catch my reaction because i was just walking back through the aisle to meet up with brett again and i was like eh, oh um so we got the lol loves mini sweets series two and i really enjoyed series one i liked the ones that i got i didn't really necessarily want to collect them all like if i could collect them all that'd be great but it wasn't that big of a deal to me but series two um, I also don't think I'm going to try to collect them all in Series 2 either, but there's certain ones that I'm dying over, so hopefully we got them. I bought one, oh, these are yellow, two, and three of these, just to see, because I remember that there's a bunch that are really, really strong designs in this one, but I'm not sure how I feel about the rest of them. I need to look at the promo pictures again, but I also want to be surprised when I unbox them, so that's... With Series 1, I had gone to Sweet Sweet and seen them all in person, so I already knew what I was getting into, but with these, I saw the promo pictures months ago, and they've kind of been wiped from my memory, so hopefully we find a really cool gem that I don't remember, but also hopefully we get the... The, the girl in here is like, stop! Um, stop doing that! Um, hopefully we get the Rainbow Airheads one. I think she was Airheads. I don't know. The Rainbow one with the fanny pack is like peak design. And then I also found the Mini Bites. So these are cereal themed. I've known about these for a while now and I've been really excited about them. So I'm glad that I can finally talk about them because I've been sworn to secrecy for months. Um, these are so cool. These are so, so cool. And when I found out about them, I didn't even know what the cereal brands were going to be. I just knew they were going to be cereal related. So finally they're here and a lot of these designs are like spectacular i haven't spoiled these for myself though i'm just seeing the ones on the box already like they, they look really really cool and i'm not the biggest lol tot or littles i think the littles are these guys i don't know these like i love lol omg i love lol tweens i love lol pets these i'm kind of neutral on but certain ones have just the most amazing designs and i love these brand ones i don't know corporate sponsorship works on me apparently i think it's super cute and i buy into it Anyway, <laughs> so that is all the stuff I got at Target, other than the Super Mario movie stuff, which I'll show you at the end of this video. Now, Dirt Cheap. So I I'll, I go to Dirt Cheap quite often. I don't normally film because when I tell you, I, I need to go in there and film because I couldn't believe it when I went today because at Christmas, the entire store was toys. Like over half of the store was toys because, you know, it's Christmas season. That makes sense. I haven't seen Dirt Cheap during this season because I first went to a Dirt Cheap in my life in like April, I think, of last year. You can check my videos. It was March or April. And it was it had a lot of stuff, but nowhere near this much. It's currently the end of February, so I imagine this is a lot of Christmas returns because that's kind of how the store gets their stuff is returns, factory seconds, uh, salvage type stuff. But oh my god, the amount of toys that were in the store today. I think it was more than Christmas time, honestly. I couldn't believe it. So, and everything was 50% off today, which was pretty cool too. I just walk in there occasionally, like it's next to a bunch of other stores that we go to. So I just walk in there and see what happens. And I found a bunch of cool stuff. So, um, the reason I ended up checking out was for this doll because this is the Raquel Barbie extra doll. And she was actually, we were on our way out and I saw her and I was like, oh, so then I went back for a couple of other things that I had found. So She's really cute, and I paid half retail, so I paid 13 ish dollars for her, $12.50. Score. 
really excited about her. I have a bunch of Barbie extras to unbox, so we'll do one of those mass unboxing videos and get these out of the way. I'm really excited. These are so cute. So, so cute. Um, this, this one's design is just really, really cool. This line, oh, I'm almost done with this line. I'm only missing what is probably the best one, the Moschino one. Moschino? Moschino? I don't know. I don't care. Okay. And then I got these. These aren't something that, okay, so I know of the Hatch Ones Pixie Riders, but I don't remember ever seeing them on shelves. So I looked at the box date and it's 2020, which adds up because I was very specifically buying Rainbow High at that time and Cape Club. Those were what I was kind of honing in on and I wasn't paying attention to the rest of the aisle. So if these came out in 2020, that makes sense. I'm curious if they're still coming out or if Spin Master's done with them. I have no idea, but I saw these and I was like, oh, the Pixie Riders, like, I, I have some of those. They're really cute because some of you guys have sent them to me. I've seen them at thrift stores. I think they're very cute. And I saw on the back of the packaging what the different options for this particular set were. And there's like a panda one and this really beautiful like nature fawn one. And just they were like the designs are really cool. So I'm really excited to unbox this. Uh, these aren't going to be like a collection that I'm going to like continually to try to build. But if I find another one of these, I'll grab it because the designs on these are spectacular and they're really cute little little guys and i'm really excited because i'm building my little random guy display soon because i have a lot of lines like this that i have like a couple of things from but not a whole lot and i really want them on display like to highlight different types of toys because i like all sorts of different types of toys i'm not going to collect every single one for every line but you know there's lots of lines where i'm like dang i really like those i'd love to have a few and yeah i want them to be able to be on display so yeah so hopefully they will find a spot on the display and finally, this doll I was so tempted by, but I don't really, checking out at that store is a bit complicated sometimes because the card reader doesn't work, so I avoid it. But anyway, they had a Naturalistas doll as well. So the culmination of these three, like I may not have necessarily gotten Raquel if she was the only thing that I saw, but then I saw these and I was like, okay. Um, or I had seen these before. So this is Naturalistas Kelsey. And it, Naturalistas have been on my radar. I think they're really pretty. And in fact, when I was at Target, which was before this store, I noticed how cheap they were. Because for some reason, I thought these were $20 each, but they're, what is it, $12? They're $14.99 according to this, but I'm pretty sure they were $12 at Target. I couldn't believe it because these are like really nice quality. So I'm really curious about her. I'm going to be unboxing her in one of those mass unboxings at some point. And yeah, I had seen these at, what are these by, like Just Play? I think so. Oh, it's Purpose Toys, but I, I think it's just play works on these in some capacity. I don't know. Um, I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that, but um, I swear I saw them in the just play booth at Sweet Sweet, right? Or was that a different company? Whatever. It's not that important. Um, what is important is that these are really fantastic dolls. What they stand for is very important, and they're very affordable, and they're very high quality, so it's like covers all bases. So I'm really excited to add one to my collection and share her with you guys, so I grabbed her. And that's it for this video. I'm really excited about like the new stuff that I'm not super familiar with and new like releases that I've just been looking forward to that are gonna be really, really cool. And also just stuff that I've kind of been looking for like this. So there's a lot of really cool stuff here. Also the variants, like I'm excited. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you want to see more like toy hunt type content like this because I can film more of them. It doesn't necessarily mean I'll always have a big haul. Most likely I usually won't because um, I go toy hunting all the time, but I don't always have a haul. This was just, they've just kind of like finally finished the reset after Christmas and they're putting out new products that are coming out for quarter two. You know, they're like, they're fluffing up the shelves. So today just so happened to be the day that they had like a lot of stuff that I was looking for and Rainbow High got me. You always get me. You always do. You guys. And I was really good and didn't buy these on Amazon the second they came out. I did buy some of them the second they came out, but I was good. I was like, I'll pick two. And I stuck to it. And yeah, that's it for this video for all this time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. So here's the Mario movie toys. So we got Luigi, Mario, Peach, Bowser and then this little mini playset. We didn't get all the minis yet. Um, Peach comes with the castle and then I'm not really sure if we need the Magic Koopa and all of them. Um, so we just stuck with what Brett was super interested in. He didn't really want Peach but I decided to get her because I wanted her. But yeah, they're really cool. They actually, I was not expecting this but they have these panel inset eyes so it's actually similar to what the BFF Crybabies have where it looks like they're moving, but it's actually just an illusion, but it's pretty cool to have like faux and set eyes on these. I was not expecting it. And they're really nice quality, except Peach. Peach is terrible quality, actually. 
like her dress is like that really bad ABS plastic, which is like McDonald's toy material, um, which is bizarre because the rest of the build is so high quality and the others all have really, I mean, I think they're using ABS here on the bodies, but everything else is really solid. And then Bowser's huge. I would have forgiven some ABS on him, but no, he's like a heavy, all made out of good materials. In fact, the shell is really cool. It's like squishy because you can take it off. Like he's so cool. But yeah, Peach was very disappointing. But these are $20 each, which is a lot. Uh, it's weird because the Sonic figures by this same company are so nice. They don't have the faux and set eyes or anything, but I don't think they need them. The paint quality generally is better. The details are generally better. They come with better accessories generally, and they're like $14 each, I think. So these are kind of disappointing for the price, but... Um, I mean, it's a big movie release and it's a big IP. Like, I'm assuming it's the licensing fees that are making them that expensive. And if you're a fan of this franchise, these are going to be your only choice, probably. I think um, Japanese companies will probably do a little bit, but we're getting pretty close to the movie release and they haven't done anything. So that's kind of nervous. I, I did see that there's a Lika Mario coming, like a Mario inspired Lika Chan. Um, and then this place, that's really cute, but $20 cute. And I don't know. I think this was $20 anyway. Um, the little minis are very cute though, but the minis are $10 a pack, which is a lot. My nail broke, sorry. Um, and then Bowser is the standout here. Like if you don't necessarily like want all the characters, but you want like one of these cause you like the movie or you just like Mario in general, this Bowser is so solid and check this out. He has this, he is an ultrasonic humidifier. So he's not heating up at all. Um, or like boiling water or anything and you, you put water in there's like a it's really well blended and actually you put it in here and then the shell actually comes off so that you can put batteries in and stuff and that's why it's like squishy um, and then this is the button it's just really well done and thought out and more water comes out if you put more water in but right now it's running low because we've done it so many times but it's just like a really solid toy it looks it and they they, they all look amazing they all look amazing and yeah I thought I'd share in case you guys are interested in them since we found them so early yeah so I think he was $30 which I mean it, that is a lot for him but if you say like this is $10 less than this I don't see a $10 difference here you know I think these should have been 15 for sure even then that's kind of pushing it but I, I get that they're like it's the IP I love though that I mean Peach has the bad quality which is shocking like look they have blushing on their faces and she like maybe does on the cheeks but honestly i don't think she does i don't know it's weird it's weird and the paint quality is fine and the articulation is super good on these two but terrible on her like she can't really move her head because of her hair which is fine she can't really move her arms because of her sleeves which is fine and then she she can only kind of rotate but it kind of i don't know they didn't think much through with her and she can't sit at all uh, they didn't really think much through with her, which is a shame because I was really excited about her. But hopefully when they do the, like, racing outfit for her, I hope that they do that anyway. Um, it'll be better. All right. There's your Mario intermission.